Sophia J and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already or you're new, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Today, we're going to be looking over how to solve word problems by looking at the relationships between area and perimeter. Let's go into it. Area is the amount of space inside of an object. To find area, you either have to count the squares inside the shape or use the formula area equals length times width. In this example, on the left, you would count the nine squares in the square or you would do three times three equals nine to find the area. Perimeter is the total distance around the outside of a 2D shape. To find the perimeter of any straight-sided shape, just add up the length of all the sides. For example, for this rectangle, you would just add 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5, which is 30. And for the triangle, you would add 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 9. Okay, let's review. Perimeter is the distance around the edge of a shape. And area is the amount of space or square units inside a shape. Here is our first question. A square has an area of 25 inches squared. What is the perimeter of the square? Let's first highlight what we know. We know that we are dealing with a square. This is gonna be very important in finding the perimeter. We also know the area, which is 25 inches squared. And what we need to find is the perimeter. Okay, let's get to work. So we know we're doing with the square, so I'm gonna draw a square on the side. Since this is a square, we know that all the sides are going to be the same. We also know the area, which is 25. Since area equals length times width, and the sides of the square are all exactly the same length and width, we have to find a number that times itself equals 25. We know that 25, its length times width, we know that those two numbers will be five because five times five equals 25. Meaning each, each of these sides will be five. And since we also know that perimeter equals side plus side plus side, plus side, and since we're trying to find the perimeter, we know that the perimeter will be five plus five plus five plus five. Or since we're dealing with the square, it could also be five times four, meaning that the perimeter is 20 inches. A square has a perimeter of 18 inches. What is the area of the square? Let's start by highlighting. We know that, again, we are dealing with a square, meaning that all the sides will have an equal value. This time, we already know the perimeter, which is 18 inches. Now, we have to find the area of this square. Because we are dealing with a square, I'm going to draw a square on the side. And remember, each of the square sides will have an equal value. We already know that per the perimeter is 18 inches. And because perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side, 18 will equal side plus side plus side plus side. But to find out all these sides, we have to divide 18 by four. Four can go into 18 four times. 4 times 4 is 16. 18 minus 16 is 2, leaving us a remainder of 2. But we can't just leave this as a remainder. We're going to return this remainder into a fraction. We're still going to have a whole number of 4, which is our quotient. But we're going to have our divisor as a denominator and the remainder as our numerator. But let's reduce this from 4 to 2 fourths two, four, and one half. Now, since we know that area equals length times width, and now we know that all of these sides is four and a half,
we know that area equals four and one half times four and one half. Now, to multiply or divide fractions, we have to turn any mixed numbers into improper fractions. Four and one half as an improper fraction is nine halves times nine halves. And to do any of fraction multiplication, we have to multiply the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. Nine times nine is 81, and two times two is four. Finally, to find our answer, we have to turn this back into a mixed number. So we have to do more division. As our dividend, we will have our numerator, 81. And our divisor will be, the, the divisor will be our denominator. Now, four can go into eight two times. Four times two is eight. Eight minus eight is zero, bring down the one. And four can go into one zero times. One minus zero equals one. Now, again, we can't keep the remainder like that. We gotta put the remainder as our numerator, of course, with our whole number of 20. The remainder as our numerator and the divisor as a denominator. Making our final answer, area equals 20 and 1 fourth inches squared. Our third word problem for the day is, a rectangle has a perimeter of 45 inches. The length of the rectangle is 15 inches. What is the area of the rectangle? So, let's highlight. Hmm, this time we're dealing with the rectangle, meaning that we'll have two long sides and two short sides. And again, we know the perimeter, which is 45 inches. We also know the length of this rectangle, which is 15 inches, but not the width. So, we need to find the area of the rectangle. Since we're dealing with a rectangle this time, I'm going to draw a rectangle. With two short sides and two long sides. So the length of the rectangle is 15 inches. So we have two sides that are 15 inches. I'm going to have these two sides be the length. 15 and 15. So to find the area, we need to find what these sides are. Since we know that perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side, and since we know that these two are 15, we know that perimeter equals 15 plus 15 plus side plus side. And we know that this perimeter is 45. So maybe what we can do is we can add up these two sides, 15 plus 15, and then subtract that from 45 so we know what the sum of these two sides are. Well, 15 plus 15 is 30, and 45 minus 30 is 15, meaning that these two sides will each be half of 15. So we need to do 15 divided by 2, since there's two sides, to figure out what the, what the width of these two are. So 15 divided by 2, 2 can go into 15 7 times, so that's 14, remainder of 1. Again, we can't have a remainder, we need to make it a fraction. So it will be 7 and 1 half. So we know that these sides are each seven and one half. Seven and one half. So our, so our width is seven and one half. So 45 equals 15 plus 15 plus seven and a half plus seven and a half. Now to find the area, we need to multiply the length times the width. Area equals 15 times 7 and a half. 
So when we're going to do the multiply, I'm going to put a denominator of 1 under 15. We're still going to have the same value. The 15 over 1 and 15 mean the exact same thing. Just it's going to be a fraction, so we can do multiplication. But before we put the 7 and 1 half into it, we need to make this an improper fraction. Now, as an improper fraction, it is 15 over 2. So if we multiply, we get 15 times 15, numerator times the numerator, which is 225, and denominator times denominator, 1 times 2, which is 2. Now, before we can find our answer, we need to put this back into a mixed fraction. We need to do division. We're going to have to divide the numerator, 225, by the denominator, 2. So 225 divided by 2. 2 can go into 2 one time. 2 minus 2 is 0. Carry down the other 2. Again, 2 can go into 2 one time. 2 minus 2 is 0. And then bring on the 5. 2 can go into 5 two times, which is 4, with the remainder of 1. But again, we can't have a remainder. We need to have a fraction. So 112 and a half, making our final answer for the area, area equals 112 and a half inches squared. Okay, mathematicians, what did we learn today? We learned that perimeter is distance around a shape. We also learned that area is the amount of square units inside a shape. Finally, we learned that area and perimeter are related to each other, and one can be found if you know enough information about the other. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians!